A sombre minute silence to remember the devastating impacts of cancer. Then the sea of pink was off. Early risers laced up as the sun rose. Dozens taking part in a five kilometre fun run at East Point to raise awareness and research funds for breast cancer survivors like Ainsley. I couldn't believe it, no history in my family. My doctor had said to me, he looked me in the eye, held my hand and said, you're a female, you're a risk. This year, runners also pounding the pavement for ovarian cancer. The survival rates are still um, quite shocking, but ovarian cancer is probably, to me, uh, the type of cancer that just doesn't have the research statistics behind it, so the death rates are a lot higher. The fastest runners crossing the finish line in no time at all. This first time mum, inspired by a meaningful challenge, she hopes will become a Mother's Day tradition. I love running and I hope that he loves running also. So yeah, something that we'll start to do every year now. I'm running for all the amazing women in the world. All of us have been affected by someone with um, breast cancer. Congratulations. The annual race has raised millions for the National Breast Cancer Foundation since it began 26 years ago. But the finish line is still a long way off. Around 57 women and men are diagnosed with breast cancer every day, and there's still no early detection test for ovarian cancer. No one should be dying from cancer in 2024. You need the funds, you need the money, you need the research to survive. Those dedicated to the cause, determined to keep making strides towards their ultimate goal, zero deaths as a result of the deadly disease. Roxanne Fitzgerald, ABC News.